Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another Boschman Tactics video. Today we got Dragon Skin version 3. As you saw by the thumbnail, I'm hoping this is going to be my best Dragon Skin body armor and maybe even my best body armor period that we've ever built on the channel. So let's waste no time, let's jump into the workshop and let's get right into the construction. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you there. Okay, so as you just saw there, I cut out a piece of fiberglass welding blanket just to use as my backing. It's not to add any strength. And then I PL'd my little metal discs onto that backing. And so here we are, the finished product. So right now I'm gonna let this PL dry. And if my theory is correct, then I just glued, as you can maybe see on the time lapse, just like the corners of these things. So I'm hoping that when you bend forward, that these discs are allowed to slide onto their disc below them. But I don't want to test that now because the PL is, it's not cured. So we'll wait overnight and I'll see you tomorrow to test it out, guys. All right, I'll see you on the flip side. All right, guys, so I've waited overnight and we are on to the next day. Take a gander at this. Okay, this is looking, it's looking pretty dialed. And then check this out. That PL is holding up nice and strong. And we have a lot of flexibility. Like, look at this. You can come all the way around. You can come in the corners here, here, and obviously from the bottom. And you have just these nice discs layered. So guys, this is working really good so far. And next step is going to be tossing on some tiles. So here, I'm kind of skeptical on how these tiles are gonna work. I, they almost look like glass tiles. So we're gonna try them out and then we'll see how this works. And this will be a true test for future body armor to see if these glass can compare with porcelain or ceramic. I, I'm skeptical, like I said, but we're gonna give it a shot because that's all I could find at my local store. So uh, that's the next step. We'll quickly whip that up and then we're going to wrap around our rest of our fiberglass here. Try to keep it all flexible, maintain flexibility because that is the key of this build where my last two builds didn't do very good on. So let's quickly slap this on and then we'll wrap it up and then we're done I think. So then I will check back with you when we are all finished. All right guys, catch you on the flip side. Alright guys, the Dragon Skin Body Armor version 3 is finally complete. And now it's time to shoot it. We're going to test it out. We're going to jump over to the range. I got an arsenal lined up for you guys. And uh, we're just going to take some hacks. But first of all, let's admire our finished product here. So I tossed a little paint job on here. We still have some sick flexibility. Look at that. I can feel that no discs have fallen off or detached. So guys, I'm pretty pumped with how this turned out. It's perfect fit for any uh, body armor vest. I think it's like 12 by eight or something like that. But guys, it's time to shoot it. I will catch you at the range and I'll see you there. Hope you enjoy, stay tuned guys. Yo, what is up everybody? We made it back to the Boschman Tactics gun range. We got our Dragon Skin Body Armor version three down range. And uh, let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into the action. We got 22 LR to start nice and low. And we'll slowly bump our way up to the top. So guys, if you're enjoying this video thus far, maybe consider hitting the like button, subscribing down below for some more cool body armor builds. 
All right, guys, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, first up, nice little 22LR. Nice little hitch around the bottom of the Canadian flag. Check our back and nothing. So you can actually see our contour of our little scales there and nothing went through. Perfect. All right guys, so we're gonna poke it with a Hornady hollow point, which shoots really fast, but it's a hollow point. And then we have a full metal jacket, which shoots a little slower, but uh, it's full metal, full metal jacket, so it should pierce better. So uh, I'll try to shoot these in the bottom corner. Okay, this is the hollow point. bottom left. I'll quickly go set it up again then we'll shoot the full metal jacket. Okay guys this is now the full metal jacket round. 22 Magnum. All right let's go check it out. Alrighty folks so bottom left was our Hornady hollow points and then this guy right here on the right was our full metal jacket. So as you can see our hollow point left a bigger scar which makes sense because of the mushrooming. Okay, feeling the front here, it feels a little spongy, as I'm sure you can hear. So let's check the back. The back is scar-free. Look at that. You can still see our discs here, which are still bound to the fiberglass sheet, which is a great sign of durability. So they're not getting knocked loose by the hard contact, so that is great to see. And our front, we're obviously losing some of our the power of our tiles here but they are still holding up nonetheless they're not all falling down to the bottom here so our fastening our fastening was definitely i guess well implemented to an extent so that's always nice and our back cardboard sheet here there's no shrapnel so we're catching all the shrapnel within our armor piece here so guys i'm gonna bump it up to I have a shotgun and I have my 308 here and I want to get the SKS out so we'll try to bump it up to the SKS. If not then we'll do the 308 and then the Lee Enfield 303. So uh, those are going to be some hard hitting rounds. This is where the true test begins guys. Alright stay tuned. Well guys if you cannot tell on camera it is starting to rain and I'm sure you can hear that the wind is picking up so we are just going to try to try to smack it with the 308 and then we're going to see what happens if it survives this then I'll have to go back and get my 303 but I really hope it survives but we'll see all right 308 against dragon skin version 3 try to go right at the top that smacked hard let's go check it out okay guys I'm sorry about this wind it's kind of nasty I know but 308 smacked hard and true right here there's our entrance okay what do you guys think Ooh, it's broken apart no our armor has been defeated by the mighty 308 so it was just this one spot obviously where we got hit by the 308 that dislodged all of our armor took out our tiles our discs and then it, uh, whatever, broke up the integrity of our plate. So the 308, it turns out, was just a little too much power for our Dragon Skin version 3 guys. I'm going to poke it with a shotgun slug and some target shot just for a little bit of a torture test. I'm really curious what it's going to do to that. All right, guys, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so what I actually have is not target shot, but number four steel. And then <laughs> good old-fashioned rifled slug. So, here's what this is going to do, but I'll start with the steel, and then we'll see if it survives. Alright, 3 inch, number 4 steel. <laughs> Alright, I'll reset it up and then we'll go from there. Alright, now for the rifled slug. Let's try to go like top right or something. Let's go, baby. 
All right, guys, let's take a gander at the carnage here. So here's our plate. You can see that number four spread all around. Here's our slug. Let's flip this guy over. And there are metal discs everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's see. Look at that. Deech. So that would be from the slug. I definitely hit one of these thinner plates. But still, that is wild. <laughs> so I was I was just about to say that I doubt that the shotgun slug uh, would have pierced any of the plates, and I, it would have just went through with brute force. But seeing that little disc uh, makes me think a little otherwise. That is a powerful, powerful shot there. There's discs down here. These look untouched, but. Actually, that one may be a little tough. But basically just the brute force. And obviously this glass glass tile does not stand up to the same performance levels as our ceramic or porcelain. So I'll try to switch that up. Look at this. Blue skies emerging. It's going to turn into a beautiful day. All right, guys, let's run it to the outro. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching another Boschman Tactics video. It was a lot of fun to make this dragon skin body armor, but unfortunately, it just did not hold up to my expectations. I thought it was gonna work a lot better, but unfortunately, it just could not stop the 308. And alas, it was not my best body armor yet. But nonetheless, thanks so much for watching, guys. It was lots of fun to build and to shoot. So if you have any other body armor ideas, I'd love to hear them down in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button. Maybe subscribe down below if you want to see some more videos like this. And until next time, guys, y'all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.